Hello, my friends. Uh, this is going to be a very sort of casual update. Nothing really audio related. Sort of audio related, but not necessarily gear related. So if you want to hang around and listen to just the background of what some content creators go through, at least what I'm going through right now. Uh, if you want to hear about what it feels like, what I'm thinking about, the planning process, then stick around for about 10 minutes and I'll tell you what I'm going through. Um, so let's start at the top and I'll say that in this last year, I have experienced a lot of growth uh, in terms of my channel, in terms of my follower count, in terms of contact with companies and brands in terms of meeting with friends and other creators i have grown to um, knowledge i've grown to uh, connections i have grown into awareness some wisdom um, and a lot of that is based on Going to new shows, I went to Florida, I went to Chicago, I spent more time with Jay, here, who, Jay Ziagi, if you know who it is. Uh, I spent some more time with other creators, I had lots of conversations. And then in my personal life, a lot of other things happened. Um, my mom passed away early 2023, that's never easy to deal with, I could burst out in tears at any minute if the right things happen so that's happening um my health has been absolute trash for most of this year i've been dealing with crohn's disease as well as anxiety and adhd diagnosis and a bunch of other stuff which i don't have a lot of medications for i've been in and out of hospital for certain things i've had three different kinds of medications this year so, you know, like they say, like, your gut health has a lot to do with your mental health. And that's true. Uh, so that part of the background has been very difficult. And I'm still trying to post content, do reviews, post images, be part of the community. Um, anytime my friends are live, I try to you know, comment and watch their videos and share their videos and call their names out. And I've been trying what I feel like is the best thing I can do as a audio community member, instead of just being in comment sections, trying to tear people down for what they know or what I think they don't know, or if they're telling the truth or not, it's just... I mean, as a friend of most of these people, as a supporter of most of these creators, and with all the other things going on in life that are already hard enough to deal with, we have just enough annoying and irritating people in comment sections adding to how stressful it already is to try and plan for photo shoot buying the equipment, maintaining the equipment, making sure that it all works. If you shoot for an hour or two and then forget a sound card or the sound's bad, you got to redo it again. And then a lot of my friends like spend time measuring and moving things around and shifting their spaces. And look, the, my, I think my point is I'm gearing up now for Toronto Audio Fest. Toronto Audio Fest happens once a year, usually in October, almost actually almost always in October. Uh, <laughs> it's put on by the same organizers as Montreal Audio Fest. I'm just panning around to some of the stuff that's in the room. So yeah, I have the Gaia Ones here still. The SVS stuff is still here. Bucart Audio came in a little while ago, so I'm demoing those and providing videos and, you know, photos and images and talking about it like every other day and creating content. So now with Toronto Audio Fest coming up, I have to make sure all of my gear works, all of my memory cards are ready, all of my like tripods and lights are in working order. And they're like, you don't get a chance to do it twice. You got to be, you got to be right the first time. And 
it, it couples with the idea that I hear people commenting and criticizing and naysaying and just being absolutely ignorant and rude, judging content creators for either being like biased or paid for or dishonest or, you know, you know, they're a paid shill for something. And it's just, I got to be honest, it makes me absolutely furious because it's totally unnecessary. It's totally inaccurate most of the time. It doesn't do anybody any good in the community to just judge that way because you don't know. People don't know. They don't have the slightest idea what goes on off camera. All they have is whatever's on camera and their best guess. And their best guess is usually pretty asinine. It, it upsets me and I don't need to be upset. But now like I said, with the rest of the stuff going on in life off camera that nobody knows about. And maybe some of my friends know because I'm a little more sharing than a lot of my other creator friends going to Toronto audio fest. Now I am about to go face to face and audit in spaces in two hotels with the public. And I don't know who out there is comfortable with public speaking or if how many people watch my videos actually make your own videos. Do you shoot your own content? Do you think it's fair that anybody who doesn't do a thing gets to criticize people who do the thing? Like if you don't race cars, you don't have any right to judge race car drivers. If you don't play baseball, maybe you should shut up about baseball players. Like if you're not running the field in soccer games, what right do you have to judge people who play soccer? Sure, because you have a pair of ears and a mouth and eyes and you happen to know what music and sound is like doesn't mean that you have any right to judge and criticize what somebody else hears or likes or represents or speaks to. It's, you know, something like that should not... I shouldn't even have to say it. No one should have to defend themselves in such a way. I'm doing it because I'm venting. If you want to know the truth, that's what I'm doing. I had an absolute shitty day. I haven't been happy about a lot of different things for the last while, even though I keep doing content and I keep making plans and I'm still going to Toronto Audio Fest and I'm putting one foot in front of the other one and I'm you know I'm listening to my friends who say don't give up don't quit don't you know don't let the negative days set you back don't you know and all of my urges all of my sense of ADHD and self-doubt and failure makes me want to self-sabotage just do something foolish so that it all falls apart and then I can put my hands in the air and say oh you know, look at that, I can't do it anymore. And then to look around at the community and comment sections and people bickering and fighting with each other and causing drama that causes no advantageous benefit to the community at all. Judging and criticizing does nothing. It really does nothing. The real work gets done in engineering and creativeness. Creative people are really making headway. Those are the ones we need to be celebrating not tearing down. If you don't trust them, don't watch them. Just, you know, keep it to yourself. You're not really helping anybody else. And who says that anybody trusts you if you say, oh, you know, they must have been a paid shill because look at all the content they make about this stuff. That's not how it works. And you don't know how it works because nobody sends you anything. You don't get to judge them. I don't know. I mentioned in a video a couple of days ago, that we need decent people to speak up and help out everybody else because, you know, the naysayers get away with it because decent people are quiet the way they should be. But, you know, bullies get away with whatever they can because nobody's stopping them. So that's what it's going to take, I think. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious and nervous about Toronto Audio Fest because, one, I want it to go well. Um, I have a lot to prepare. There's also a lot of awkwardness to 
meet up with you know people in the in both in the in the industry and the public because you know that's how it goes you know somebody doesn't like you something happens something's a little awkward you got to deal with it in person and in, in public and that's you know like i just want to go and enjoy music but at the same time you know it's a business so there's some things to some things to navigate i'm going to try to do my best i'm just here to say you know like we are all the creators out there those who are actually putting their effort in are under more stress than it seems on camera so i really just want to say like look you got to give people a break you got to just see like how much effort it it takes to do this stuff and you don't know what kind of struggle somebody has so if everybody is on a has a struggle that you don't know anything about the best thing to do is just be kind, be nice, be polite, you know. Anyhow, I am looking forward to Toronto Audio Fest despite all my nerves. And I think with a little bit of support and help, I will get through it. So that's enough out of me. I just wanted to lay the grounds here and just say hello. Um, I'll see you on the flip side. Keep, keep it locked on the channel. I will be doing lives from Toronto Audio Fest throughout the weekend. And I'll bring to you as best content as possible. Anything new, anything exciting, you'll see it here. All right. Have a great week. Uh, I look forward to seeing all of you soon in the comments. And take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Bye-bye.